Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm going to make this a really, really, really quick episode on the barbers in Lord of the Rings Online. So hey, you make your character and suddenly you realize, oh, I don't really like my hairstyle. Crap, I can't change my hair. No, you can change your hairstyle, guys. Just go to a barber. It looks like this symbol. You can find it on the mini-map. It's usually there. Look at you can even see it. If you clear the filters here, and you show we have a video on maps, you can learn all how to do filters. If you want to check it out later, oh, there's the barber symbol right on top of our red arrow, right? So there's a barber in the Prancing Pony. So this is a good place to get your hair cut, right? In the Prancing Pony? So, anyway, we basically, all we do is we click on the barber. Either I'm on a chair to be as tall as him, because <laughs> I'm a dwarf. <laughs> anyway, all right, Mr. Barber, I'd like a haircut, sir. Greetings, friend. Greetings. All right, so basically you see this little thing here. You can zoom in or zoom out to kind of see your character. So basically it does cost money buy changes right you can randomize things um what is mm, i actually think this is a new button here your appearance changes will cost nothing are you sure okay oh i see that's how you finish so basically right here you can actually change your hair color i'm not going to mess with mine your eye color your skin color you cannot change it from where you are you can only change it depending on where you started so i'm from the lonely mountain so i don't actually have the option to have blue eyes the dwarf was from the white mountains and I, somewhere else can have blue eyes i believe or different colors of brown or whatever all the different colors of eyes so it does matter still where you're from but you can on that original thing that you chose at the beginning of the game of that palette once you choose your thing that matters right you can change your actual body type so you know you want to lose a few pounds you can lose a few pounds right there you go, look. So now I'm more of a chubby dwarf instead of a, I'm staying a beefy dwarf, right? And then you can change your appearances, right, too. So, like, if you're, you can even do details. So I have a little scar on my main character here. So I could uh, change, uh, I do extra uh, details, right? See, I'm, I removed it. I put a scar on his eye now, right? He's a very good, uh, he does a good makeup artist, too, apparently. <laughs> Not that I ever do that. I don't really yet. My, I, I, have, I have female family members who love makeup. I don't really use makeup. All right. Anyway. So, but it's kind of cool. So you can do uh, your head, you can change your nose, you can do basically everything. It used to be only hair, but they realized people really like to change their look sometimes in game, realize they messed it up. You can even randomize and suddenly you're a totally new dwarf. Or you can just reset and go back to what you originally had, or you can just cancel. But if you do it, you say buy changes. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to cancel. So anyway, that is an episode on the Baba. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to go now because he's going to probably give me a haircut. So. Have a good one, everyone, and until we meet again, this is the Prancing Pony and the Barber episode. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Ironshield.